you didn't see what happened? Um, no, no, I did not. You were in the garage. I was in the garage. You were in the garage. Yes. You were emptying some groceries yes. out of your car. Yes. Who else was in the house? Uh, my husband and my daughter. How old is your daughter? She's four. Now, you didn't see what happened. You had been out grocery shopping. They yes. were in the house. No, we, we all went grocery shopping. So you were all out. Yes. And now I want you to tell me where you say you left your pit bull tethered when you and your husband and your daughter went grocery shopping. Um, no, no, be, be very careful. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Have you been watching me for a long time? No. Well, that was a mistake for you to elect <laughs> to come yes. here without having at least previewed what you might find. Well, I, I Do don't you understand? watch you. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Now I want you to tell me you, your husband, and your daughter were out grocery shopping, so yes. the house was empty. How with long? My dog jug, jug, in the do jug. With my dog in the house. With your dog in the house? Yes, I would never leave my dog outside Great. when no one's home. Great. Yeah. So you came home. Home from grocery shopping, yes. Great. And you were emptying the car? Yes, the groceries. And your husband and daughter were doing what? Inside the house. So they got out of the car and went inside the house? Yes. And the garage door was open and there was an entrance to your house from the garage? Yes, the laundry Great. room. Great. So that somehow the pit bull got out? No, that's not what happened. Well, <laughs> do you see what your problem is? Do you understand where your problem is? Yes. All right, so let's. Start again. Okay. I don't want you to try to remember what you wrote in your answer, which was clearly not true. Do you understand? Do you yeah. understand? Yes. Okay. So the dog was in the house. Yes. Somehow the dog got out of the house because the door was open between the garage and the interior of the house. I let my dog outside because when we leave the house, I let my dog stay inside the house. So when we came home, you're, you're it tripping. You're going to trip go to over yourself. You're going to trip over yourself. Do you understand that? Because I'm going to read your answer. Do you understand? Yes. You know what you said in your answer. Do you remember? Yes. What did you say in your answer? You that, said the dog was tied to a tree. Yes, it that's, was on a that's, leash. That's. You said the dog was tethered to a tree. Yes. That was a lie. Correct. No. Well, it can't be both. You can't have opened the door and let the dog out to go to the bathroom I and tied the dog to a... You got it. Do you understand? It can't be both. It's, it's not both. I brought my dog outside on a leash, and I was, as I was unloading the groceries so he could go to the bathroom, I tied him up to the tree in our front yard. That's ridiculous, and I don't believe it. That's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense, and I don't believe it. Why does it not make sense? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What makes sense is your husband, your daughter walked in the house, they left the door open, you were unloading groceries, and the dog got out of the house. That's what happened. What I find most offensive about your answer is that when Mr. Hayes came to your house, and he came to your house, and he was bleeding, and you saw that he was bleeding, so you clearly knew, and he had your dog. I mean, he did, but it wasn't, he had your dog. He was cradling my dog like a baby. He was not holding it by its neck. There was none of that. Did you see any blood? From his dog, yes, but not from him. There was nothing so, wrong with so him. He was, so he was, just a second, he's gonna show me. So he was cradling your dog. He was your holding pit, my he dog. He was cradling your pit bull like a baby. And? So he was holding it gently. Yeah. Yeah, just Which a second. Was he was odd. He was holding it gently, and what did he do? He then told me that my dog attacked him and his dog. And what did you do? I told him that that's not possible. When did that happen? My dog has been in our front yard on a leash. Good. And, and then, his just a dogs second, were just a second, and just a second, and then. What happened, Miss Frazier? Then what happened? Then he pushed me into our pillar in front of our front porch and told, was calling me names. He was calling me and all of this stuff, telling me he was going to sue me and he was going to take care of all this stuff, call the police. And So then your husband, who was a retired police officer yes. and who was in the house, yes. called one of his buddies who came over. No, he was actually a police officer in Oakland. We called Antioch. He actually also called the police, That's too. not what... Just a second. He was injured. 